Hi everyone! So it has been a little while once again. I'm going to do a very casual chatty get ready with me. A lot of people really seem to like when I do very simple makeup, like the glowy blush focused kind of stuff, and I love it a lot, and it's really simple, although I use a ton of products. <laughs> Of course, of course. Um, it's just something that I've gotten used to, so I use a lot of the same things day in and day out, at least recently, just because it's what I've been feeling. So I did clean my face because I was wearing makeup earlier, but I know I didn't get it entirely off, and then I put a little bit of my brow stuff back on, and I did moisturize my face already, but I have no like base makeup on my face yet. I have the MAC strobe cream. This is in pink light. So this is generally how I start. Now this whole thing generally takes me about 30 minutes, give or take, sometimes a little bit less. Um, I don't tend to go over that and I do my base makeup first and then I do my eye stuff because I find that if I start with my eyeshadow, I can spend half an hour just on my eyes alone. <laughs> And when I don't have a lot of time, that's not good. So I like to make sure that everything else is done. And then that generally means that the eyes are very simple, but that's not a bad thing because like I've been liking the focus on other things. So I really like the strobe cream in particular because I find that it really makes my skin luminous and just glowy all on its own without having to add anything extra. Like there's definitely been times where I've just decided to like run out you know, do an errand or whatever I'm gonna do and I'll put on a little strobe cream, maybe put my brows on, some mascara if I'm feeling it, maybe some eyeliner and that would be it. Even if, maybe not even the eyeliner, sometimes I'll just like put a lot of blush on and even put blush underneath my eyes and just do a whole, a whole look. But anyway, uh, that is generally where I start. Now, I have to remember the primer. <laughs> I. I know primer isn't a necessary step, but I always like to put primer on because I feel like if I don't put primer on, that's when my skin behaves badly. So when I want really glowy skin, I use the Becca First Light Priming Filter Instant Complexion Refresh. Yes, it's a very long name, but it's the purple one. There's a couple of different Becca highlighter, Yes, highlighters, but also primers. There's a couple different Becca primers, and the other one, uh, this is First Light. So I think it's Backlight really, really makes my pores look huge, and I hate it. But this one, I usually take like two-ish pumps. Now again, I don't have a, a mirror in front of me, so excuse me for occasionally checking the viewfinder. I just have to say that um, I haven't found anything. I've been looking for something that can fit in this space in front of me that's large enough that I can move, and I just haven't found a mirror that's suitable for this space yet. So I kind of have these little handheld things, but I'm used to putting my makeup on in front of my mirror in the bathroom, and Obviously, I just, you know, it's routine at this point to make sure that I have the product on my face and I just use my, my hands for that stuff. I still color correct like crazy. Um, I have, this is a little smaller size of the Becca under eye corrector. This came from one of the Point Perks from a while back. I really like the Liquid Urban Decay one, but I haven't repurchased it yet, so... I probably will because there's times when I want to use that one instead and honestly when I'm doing more of a glowy skin thing I'd rather have the liquid urban decay under eye thing except for the instead of the Becca because the Becca one is a little thick and I find that it works better with a fuller coverage foundation just I just don't find that it blends quite as well but I definitely am dealing with dark circles, so I have to make sure I color press because I just notice the difference. And then I can just avoid having to put concealer on, which I find a lot of concealer just gets really creasy and kind of creepy and just doesn't dry well during the day. I did have a Becca powder. I think it was specifically an under eye powder, which I really liked, and that helped to set the under eye area so it wouldn't crease. But I find a lot of uh, powders are just too much, too intense for the way that my skin is these days. So I desperately need a new green corrector. This is something I'm going to have to repurchase because like, it's so dry. This is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Color Correcting Fluid in Green. 
and I am just scraping every last drop of this stuff. I love this. So I just have a few little red spots that I like to color correct because I just, again, I find that it makes enough of a difference that I don't have to go in and add a whole bunch of extra concealer. I usually just don't even bother. Even if a little bit peeks through from underneath the foundation, I just leave it alone. So for the foundation cocktail I will use here. Now normally I will do some sort of four or five product step thing. Um, I've been using a drugstore foundation and I specify drugstore foundation just because um, when it comes to higher end foundation purchases, I tend to really be very selective about my color match. I've had a few instances of drugstore foundations that I've purchased like on sale or because I wanted to try it and it doesn't work out shade wise. So I was using um, a white foundation mixer, drugstore foundation, a oil and the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye and then maybe even something else like a moisturizer with it and it was just like product on top of product. But in this case, I'm going to use my go-to glowy skin foundation. It's the MAC Mineralize Moisture Foundation. So I get a lot of questions about that and this, this is my go-to if I just want something really easy. Now this particular shade NW13 happens to match me perfectly but I am going to put in just a tiny bit. So I'm going like a pump and a half of the foundation. And I'm so used to like way too much foundation. This is maybe even be too much for some people. And then I'm gonna put a little drop, and that ended up being a large drop, of the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye, which is in the shade medium. So it's it's dark and I don't use it underneath my eye, but I love mixing it and I just, I, it, I find that it's actually kind of greasy. I can't actually imagine putting it underneath my eye area. Maybe it would work really well, but. So I just mix everything on the back of my hand and then I take my foundation brush and blend it in. And I just take it from my hand and just work it in. And one thing I, I have been doing is, is not worrying too much about finishing everything. If I over mix on the back of my hand, which can sometimes happen, it's not an exact science. It's not like I'm going, I'm per, super precise about the amount of product I'm using. So if I happen to, use a tiny bit extra, I'm not going to force myself to use it and if I don't need it. That's something that I've been working on. Um, I've mentioned it a couple times since I stopped project panning and working on fixing, finishing products. Sorry if I'm, do I'm just tongue-tied tonight. Um, it's been a while since I've sat down and filmed, but I, I stopped fixating on finishing products, so I will concern myself with a little bit of extra product that happens to be on the back of my hand. Whereas before I felt like I would have to use every little drop or be like a waste. It's kind of a weird thing within the panning community. It's like you overuse products because you're afraid of wasting them. But then you just, I don't know, for myself personally, I felt like I'd be miserable because nothing looked the way that I wanted it to look because I was excessively using product. So. Anyway, so I have had quite a few questions about stuff recently and I will say I am not going to be addressing things. I'm just trying to let go and live and move forward. And it's not always the easiest thing, but that's what I'm trying to do. And I'm very, very grateful for everybody's love and support and all of their kind words and messages and everything. and. It has not gone unnoticed and I am trying to be the best me that I can be and it's a, a constant it's a constant process and it's like sometimes you take two steps forward and then three steps back but I'm just trying my hardest every day and I know it's not always obvious and I know sometimes like with videos it's definitely not always obvious and sometimes it just feels like I'm very repetitive, but it is a learning process and right now things are okay-ish, I will say. Certain things are better than others. I have some really, really great friends right now and people who are there for me and who I trust, even though that's a hard thing. It's very, very hard, but there are some people that I trust, but I'm also trying to trust myself as well and that's what's been really good 
and I've just been putting faith into my own gut feelings and just trying trying not to read too much into things but also just being very cautious and so far so good so far so good so anyway stuff is is good stuff is a work in process life is a work in process i've just been trying to be lighter in many ways just trying to be more sunshiny that's just been one of my goals for a long time because i always felt like i was i reach for the negative because it's an easy safe place to go to i'm like i i just default to there where everything is bad and terrible and it just it's almost like security because it's what i know it's what i've known but i'm trying to fight that i even like I did lighten my hair and I think I'm going to actually go lighter. I'm kind of tempted to just live my full Stevie Nicks fantasy because I've never done that and you know maybe maybe now is time. Maybe now is time. I just had my birthday a couple days ago and it was very a very relaxing uneventful birthday for the most part. It's nice. Didn't do a, a whole lot like on the actual day of my birthday. It was just like a very casual at home day and later in the evening I met up with some friends and did some pogo raids and hung out and stuff and so that was nice and just it's nice being around good people anyway i'm trying to have a little chat but also talk about the products i'm using so for bronzer i have the pixie glow cake this is gilded bare glow and i focus mostly on the bronzer side and i've been definitely a little bronzer happy lately i feel like it kind of is because of the warmer weather and because of my hair the, the hair helps a lot for making me want to just be like bronze and glowy and sunshiny and sometimes it, it truly works like I, I i've been wanting to wear more colors which has been difficult i had to dig this old shirt out of my closet because so much of my closet is black it's like black 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 i was like i have no color or if, if, if i have things that are colorful it's dark colors it's like here have this dark green sweater like oh <laughs> i need some color and i've intentionally gone out to the store to buy colorful things only to come back with more black <laughs> And not even realize it until I get home and I'm like, thanks, thanks. Anyway, I just put a little blush on. This is one of the Natasha Denona blush duos and I'm grabbing a tiny bit of what I can get of the Subtle Sunrise from Pixie this side. Like I have a little bit on this inside ledge of the container and I'm just getting as much as I can out because I love the glow. I feel like my everyday looks are it's just very blush, highlighter, bronzer focused. Like, I probably look super oily and greasy. I've been doing the nose highlight. Sorry about it. I just, I never liked it until I started to do the whole glowy thing and then I just started to really embrace it. Styles change. It's so different. This is not how I did my makeup before and I was definitely a lot darker, but uh, this, the the sunshine has made me want to avoid like the, the dark eyeshadow and the dark eyeliner. Like I don't want to use black eyeliner as much. I don't want to have like the dark daytime smoky eyes like I was doing because I really just like glowing. Um, this is the Milani highlighter in Afterglow. Zero 01. So I've been mixing a little bit of this in too because I find that it's very, very intense. And then I will sometimes take it and kind of put it under my lid as well. Like underneath my brow bone, underneath my lid, underneath my brow bone. And then I still will put shadow and stuff on top of it. But really, I'm just going for like super greasy, super greasy. I also have this Milani which I will use too. This is the Pink Play 01 blush or the Color Harmony things and I just kind of swirl it around and mostly I, I like my blush to be back not so close to my nose like I just feel like if I bring it further away and I bring it up it kind of makes my face look a little less round which is always what I'm going for. I did contour, I believe. Yes, I did. I did contour a little bit. Couldn't remember. Um, 
Yeah, so I did yoga tonight. That was nice. I needed to decompress a little bit. So I've been uh, going back and forth with my anxiety and I can feel it. I just dropped my eyeshadow palette. Rest in peace. Oops. Thankfully, I'm using this shade. Anyway, this is the Pixi uh, Eye Reflection Shadow Palette Natural Beauty. So I'm gonna have to pick that shadow up. I didn't really use it that much anyway. It was really loose and glittery, probably why it completely crumbled when I dropped this on the floor. Um, but this shade, I don't know the exact name of the shadow because I don't have the way that they have things listed on the back. It's either Antique Rose or Metallic Rose. I think it's Metallic Rose. So my eyeshadow preference has been very simple as well. I use a little Fix Plus with the shadow and then I just kind of drag it all over my lid and it's just very, very simple. But anyway, yeah, my anxiety has been a little all over the place lately. So some days are better than others. And sometimes it's just really easy to get in your head and freak out over things. And that's why I'm trying to have more trust in people, which is difficult. If you've been burned in the past, it's difficult to trust people because it's very easy to expect that they are going to behave the same way. Or if you start to like overthink things, overcomplicate things, it's like, oh, they are gonna do this. This is what this pattern is gonna be. And it's like, wait, no, no, they're not. Uh, I don't know if that made a lot of sense. I'm very in my head, but I'm just trying to keep my wits about me. And I'm trying not to spiral and blame people for behavior that they're not doing. Because sometimes when you deal with anxiety and those kind of thoughts, it's easy to think that people are going to behave a certain way and you can kind of convince yourself that things are happening a certain way when they aren't. And that's something that I've been focusing on. So um, besides that shade from the Pixie palette, I also will reach for the Too Faced. This is the Just Peachy Mattes palette because I really like these sort of lighter shades here. I've been using these pink ones. So today this is what I'm using, Just Peachy and Peach Punch because I'm going for a more pink focused thing. But I will use um, like peaches and cream and peach tea a lot because I will tend to do a colorful lower lash line which I know is very predictable but it's very a very fun way to incorporate some color so I will use the Juvia's Place Zulu palette and I will pick either one two three whatever combination of shades in here and usually put it on my lower lash line today I did a pink and a purple actually I think I did a purple from the Hasha Denona Lila palette because I will reach for something that has a little bit of color in it but today I think I'm going to use this pink and this purple on my lower lash line um just just for a little a little something something it's very like I said a very simple look but that's what I go for because this is like my daily makeup so in this case I'm going to put the pink first on the inner portion of my lower lash line because then I'll grab some of that pink blush as well and kind of run it over and just tie it all together. Purple into that. Again, simple. And then for eyeliner, since I like to have a little bit of eyeliner, I'm using a Pixie matte mulberry so it's not a black but it is a darker color and i try and do like a really tiny thin line on my lash line and then i just completely like above and beyond what i would normally do when this happens to me and i just end up taking the liner way up my lid i just grab a little like detail brush or liner brush. This is a little Hakuhoda one. I'm not sure the number of it, but like there's a lot of similar things. It's just a very tiny detail brush. And I just fade the liner out. And then I will attempt to then do the same thing on the other side, even if that wasn't what I was initially intending. But anyway, it's just a very subtle bit of liner, just because I find that it helps with the mascara. So I'm using a little bit of lash primer Obviously, I'm not going to do false lashes because this is just for an everyday look. 
I will go back and do some glamorous thing one of these days. I miss it. It's been a while. Okay, so then I'm going to dive back into that Milani blush again, and I'm just going to go over. This blush brush is fairly large, so I often have to go back in with the same brush I used for uh, foundation, just to soften where I didn't want the blush to be. But I like that it kind of ties everything together and sometimes I will even grab uh, one of those large sort of fluffier um, eyeshadow brushes with a little bit of the blush on it because it's more precise if I feel like I need a little bit more of the uh, blush in a specific spot and then I'm not afraid to use my fingers. And... Okay, so for our lip, I'm going to use a lip liner. This is Liar from Urban Decay. And I would use like the Glossier Balm.com in Birthday Cake, but I think I left that at work. So I'm going to use this as clear Pat McGrath gloss, which is not something I would wear on the daily because it's too sticky. But I think it kind of gets the uh, point across that it's just like a, a clear gloss with a little lip liner filled in. Because I just look a very neutral lip. And that is the full look. I have a little makeup setting spray. Okay, and then on top, a little setting spray. Um, this is actually the Rose Glow Mist from Pixi, just to kick it up a notch for the glow. But that is the full look. This is just, at least the base part is very close to how I do my makeup for filming anyway, like foundation-wise. Um, like a few of the products and stuff may change, but technique wise, it's very, very basic and very simple. And this is just what it is. It does not take very long to do at all. And it's really easy. And once I get into the routine of it, I can just do it super fast. So that's been great and definitely helped save time. And yeah, that's, that is the whole thing. My, my makeup has not been very inspiring lately, at least not inspiring for me. It's just... It's been fun, I guess, more inspiring in the bronzy, sun, sunny kind of way that it helps lift my mood up. And that's something that I've really been enjoying is the way that makeup can make me feel a little bit happier and it's less necessary to kind of use it to hide behind, I guess. That's what it was for the longest time, was kind of something that I could hide behind, just a lot of like dark glitter and a lot of a lot of a lot of everything <laughs> and just using less product and not hiding so much makes me feel better and actually I think like I feel a little bit more comfortable with myself not entirely there's always issues and I feel like it's it's hard to, to find this balance because as soon as you start saying that you like you feel confident in yourself there's always somebody who's trying to take you down but I'm trying not to focus on that anyway I'm trying to just really give my love to the people who are there for me and the people who deserve it and not the people who are trying to take me down and that's kind of the best and biggest piece of advice i can give to anyone especially if you're struggling right now just focus on the good people in your life focus on the people who are there for you give them your attention give them your focus give them your love and don't worry about the other people it's hard to do that very hard i struggle with that a lot but i'm trying to give double and triple the attention and the focus on the good people, which has really been helping and it's something I keep reminding myself of. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and for hanging out with me today. I hope you have a wonderful day or night wherever you are and I hope we get a chance to chat soon. Bye for now.